So, what's medical limbo? What's medical limbo? I'm sure you've heard me use it before, and if you haven't because you're new, consider subscribing. So, medical limbo is when you are undiagnosed with either a physical health condition or a mental health condition. Medical limbo can last from anywhere between a few weeks to several years. There are even some people that never even get their diagnosis, which is truly sad. So, why was the term medical limbo created? The term medical limbo was created because there needs to be a word that better describes being undiagnosed. Here's the definition of limbo. An uncertain period of awaiting a decision or resolution of an intermediate state or condition. I don't know about you, but that really does explain when you are undiagnosed. You are totally have like no idea when you're going to be diagnosed. When are you going to find your diagnosis? What condition do you have? Is this condition terminal? Is this condition not terminal? Are you going to have it for the rest of your life? Is there a cure for it? How, how good is the treatment for this thing that you have? Like, there's so many what ifs when you're in medical limbo, and there needs to be a community for support. So, that's why the term was created. So, why does medical limbo matter? I can safely say that every Spoonie has been in medical limbo at least once, and there's no support out there. It's just a few videos sporadically and there needs to be support. Every Spoonie goes through this, yet no one's talking about it. Now, why is there no support out there? The biggest reason is doubt. The majority of people will not believe you unless a doctor gives you a diagnosis, which is silly. You don't need to prove to somebody that you have the flu or a cold, yet if I say my legs hurting, or I'm extremely tired and fatigued, or maybe I'm having symptoms of UTI constantly and there's no UTI, like, why wouldn't you believe somebody? There are so many things that people can do with their time besides faking an illness. I understand that there are people out there that do, but not every single person in the world that's claiming to have some, something wrong with them is doing that. Why are people in medical limbo for so long? Well, it could be for several reasons. It could be based on their age. It can be maybe the doctors in the way of finding their true diagnosis. If you go on like support groups, you can find so many stories of doctors being in, getting in the way of patients' medical treatment. So why does being undiagnosed matter? Well, if you're undiagnosed, you can't get adequate treatment. You might have medications to help with your symptoms, but you can't do too much if you don't know what's wrong with you. When you're undiagnosed, you are more likely to not be believed. From your family members, to co-workers, to friends, to people online. People like to call you a faker. You have no idea how long this period of time is going to last, or if it'll ever end. And you almost have to convince a doctor to believe you. Most of the time, healthy people see doctors as gods almost. Like, you go to the doctor, you tell him you, your symptoms of your cold or your flu, and he gives you a, um, antibiotic, and then within a week, you're feeling better. And majority of people think that's how it is when you have a chronic illness. When you have a chronic illness, it's a lot different. There are more procedures you have to do to find out what's wrong, and it's, when you're getting diagnosed, it's a series of elimination. So you have to eliminate a lot of these other, you're eliminating a lot of other things before you find your true diagnosis. And that can take months, years, if not your whole lifetime, you know? You gotta work with insurance company and maybe your insurance company is not like paying for a certain test you need so you can't do it. There's all sorts of reasons why you could be stuck in medical limbo. And, and that's why I'm here to support you through this scary journey, no matter how long it takes. Don't forget that I love you, I believe you, and thank you for being alive. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Bye.